how fucking dumb do you have to be to believe someone, something is in control? <laughs> it doesn't work like that. It works the other way. Cause and effect. Action and reaction. It's, it's law. It's natural law. You'll find that in math, in science, in history, in language arts, similar to what you're experiencing now. Like you are consuming this message via the medium of an audio podcast. And yet, I am consuming your attention. (laughs) Good and evil. For a lot of people, it's relative. And they might be right. If it isn't that, it's the new world order. It's the blank, blank order. It's a corporate conspiracy. It's chaos theory. Relative. How do you get somebody in a quote unquote top echelon in the elite? the highest accomplishments, the highest social status they can attain, committing utter atrocities, utter atrocities against mankind for a relatively good reason in their mind. We would believe They are deluded. They might have their reasons that they use to rationalize their conduct, their actions. Why do bad people do good things? Why do Bad things happen to good people. At the end of the day, there are some good people that are required to do bad things. And yet, we're held back. Humility? What the fuck is that? (laughs) turn the other cheek why would I ever I came up with that and look where it got me trapped between cause and effect at least I can recognize it The space that we seek to control, surrounded by the uncontrollable, surrounded by chaos, and we're trying to make order out of it. There's a lot of theory behind that, just how much you can control, just how many seeds you can plant, and how deep I've done a lot of planting. I've been a gardener for a long stretch of my life. But I've also been a reaper. Taking things that weren't mine.
if you think about it. We're not dumb at all. We just fuck up from time to time. And everybody inevitably gets caught slipping. <laughs> Otherwise, life would never creep up on us. It's Saturday, February 20. Proof of life by your intern, Alex. Another episode of the Corporate Cowboys podcast, powered by Associates Incorporating Associates. <laughs> we rarely get into discussions that aren't related to corporate, but I think it's neat whenever we venture off in conversation and then find a way to tie it back to corporate. Those are the conversations worth having. Like CEOs at the top. Out there destroying land, destroying populations. You know, from the outside, it's what it looks like. But from the inside, they truly believe they're doing some good. And I can see both sides. I can appreciate both sides. I've been on both sides. The fulfillment is there. The satisfaction is there. While... While you benefit from it, I don't even know if it's a benefit to be there. It's a benefit to be outside. As a corporate cowboy, you aren't tied down to any position. You aren't held to any person. But you still have standards. Objective standards that you can use to measure individuals, their organizations against good, objective good. And it's always for the betterment. You can judge them against what's better and the actions they're taking to attain that. That constant improvement. Not just the next step in progress. Not just the next square foot of land they're going to tear up. But the next square foot of land they're going to leave in an improved state. After all, there are some naturalistic roots in a cowboy, but there are also humanitarian roots coming from corporate. So as a corporate cowboy... You have to navigate what is natural, natural law, and what is artificial, what are human agreements. Folks call them social norms or social mores, as they call them in sociology. And a corporate cowboy has to navigate them efficiently, efficaciously, shooting from the hip if they have to. You have to know how to hustle. The 
the struggle is short term. It only lasts as long as you're alive. It's not even that long. The hustle, the hustle is forever. The hustle is permanent. The hustle is life. And the improvement thereof. Struggle? Struggle ends as soon as you're gone. <laughs> but the hustle, someone else will pick up after you drop off. I mean, it's a statement if folks suffer because you leave. But if somebody else doesn't step in and pick up the hustle where you left off, you didn't leave enough. You didn't improve enough while you were here. And by improve, I don't mean just the square foot of land that you leave behind. But I mean your associates. Improving them to be hustlers. Being a consummate professional, though, is a little difficult. Folks who work most effectively by themselves and just reach out when they need a partner, when they need an associate, somebody else to hold the gun while they do the talking. It gets a little tight. Your circle gets a little tight. Those you can trust, and then those you hire out. Those lines blur a little bit. And you can't ever know the sentiment someone harbors in their heart whether it's good or it's bad because some people just love the funk some folks want to avoid it I've seen folks disappear for a dollar that's power I've seen folks disappear for a handshake is that power? It's wild. Having to quantify life like that. Having to put a, a dollar amount on life. I mean, you can put a dollar amount on improvement. And you can definitely put a dollar amount on damages. But just life overall, that shit is priceless. Don't take it for granted. Because when you realize it, everyone's a hustler. Everyone's fighting their own struggles while they're alive. Sometimes you got to help them out. Damn, that was kind of ominous. <laughs> Visit us on Instagram. The handle is at incorporating dot associates underscore I A if you want to donate or subscribe you can find us on Patreon the Corporate Cowboys podcast it'll necessarily be free but if you have a request you can definitely leave us a comment send us a direct message anywhere podcasts our broadcast, you can listen. If you want to donate, 
this operation is nonprofit. You can Venmo me directly. I'll put it to good use. Alex underscore Coco for corporate cowboys. PayPal.me slash corporate cowboys and Cash App dollar sign corporate cowboys. Goes towards legal fees and expenses to remain nonprofit, to remain mobile and agile like a corporate cowboy should. I do work on the side. Whatever I get from here. Just allows for additional support. (laughs) I was going to say to buy a gun, but maybe not. Everything is so grayscale nowadays. I got to go to the fucking gray market. (laughs) Have a nice weekend.